I love today's prayer. I call this one the adversity prayer. This is, as Paul sometimes would do, he slips in a prayer halfway through his writings. It's often, I call it the transitional prayer from his teaching to his practical application. And Ephesians 3 is a prayer during a time of great adversity. This, If you're going through a hard time, man, this is the prayer for you. And it's in verse 13 through 21. He says, I ask you, therefore, not to be discouraged of my sufferings for you, which are your glory. For this reason, I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Here's his prayer. I pray that out of his glorious riches, there's some great things, that he may strengthen you with his power through his Holy Spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled uh, to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do a measure abundantly above all that we can ask, think, or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church and in in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. And I love that exclamation point. And then for good measure, amen. I love what the message paraphrase does with those last two verses. It says, God can do anything you know far more than you can ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around but by working within us, his spirit deeply and gently within us. And man, what a prayer, first of all. And I can't tell you how many times I've prayed this one too. I, I love this prayer. It's got me through some hard times. In fact, here's what I want you to do. I think there's, we'll do 30 seconds on each one of these. I'll do a little teaching and then we'll just pray them. But the first thing is, is first prayer point is make me double strong. And wh wh why would I say that? is because he says, I pray out of his glorious riches that he may strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit. And there it is, in your inner being. I love what one translation reads that, that he may make you fortified, that he may make you double strong, a double strength and a, a double portion of the Holy Spirit's help. I just think that's a good one. And adversity comes for a variety of different reasons, but whenever we're experiencing uh, adversity. Here's a great prayer, Lord, inwardly, with the inner resources of the Holy Spirit, make me strong from within. Why don't you take a moment and ask the Holy Spirit to strengthen you from within, to make you fortified, to make you double strong. Let's do that. There's another one that I think is, is really good in here. And, and the phrase is this, make yourself at home in me. And I, I think that he says, the reason I'm praying this way is so that Christ may um, <clears throat> dwell in your hearts through faith. I, I love that in verse 17. I'm praying this way so that Christ may dwell in your, your hearts through faith. And that word dwell means that Christ would make his self at home in you that he would settle down. He would um, treat, make your heart his home. And what I love about difficult times is that it allows adversity, pushes Christ into places maybe where he has not been invited or has not gone previously to touch, to heal, to deliver, to set free. So why don't we take 30 seconds to pray that. Christ, through faith, I invite you to dwell in me to make yourself more at home in me and during this season. Let's pray that. 30 seconds if you don't mind. Let's do that.
Here's something that we often don't think about, what I think is just one of the most powerful prayers we can pray, and that's this, that uh, this third part, give me a fresh revelation of your love for me. And when's the last time you asked uh, the Father to give you a greater understanding of how much he loves you? And I just, I just, I mean, it's just such a, a powerful thing to think about that no matter what happens, nothing, I live with an unshakable belief that God loves me, believes in me, and that God is for me. And why don't we just take 30 seconds and say, God, reveal your love to me. Um, let me grasp how wide it is, how deep it is, how wide it is, how long it is, how high it is. Let, let me just have a, a greater awareness of your love for why don't we take just 30 seconds and do just that? Help me to know how much you love me. next two, I think, are, 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 are Paul's beginning to drive this prayer home and he's beginning to, to, to make it even more personal. And in verse 19, he says that when we know this love that surpasses knowledge, in other words, there's no way we can wrap our finite minds around the infinite love of God. We're never going to be able to comprehend it. It surpasses knowledge. But the more I understand it, he says, I will be filled to to. to to the measure of all the fullness of God. So as I understand how much he loves me, it causes me to come under more of his influence. It leads to submission and surrender. And, and it sets the stage for God to do even more miracles and more powerful works. And as I come under his influence, he helps me go over my circumstances. So I, why don't we pray... Uh, a submission prayer, a surrendering prayer. God, I, I come under all of your influence, all of your fullness. Help me to experience the fullness of all that you are. And I submit and surrender to your leadership in my life. As, as to know you is to love you, and to love you is to submit to you, come under your influence. Let's spend 30 seconds of praying along those lines. And I like this one as he ends it. And, and, you, and you may never prayed this before, but this is good. Surprise me, Lord. That's a great prayer to pray. Surprise me, Lord. Because I, I, I love this. He's able to do above all that I can even ask, think, or request. I can't even begin to imagine what God wants to do in me and through me and for me. Just think about that. It, it is beyond your comprehension. And so uh, pray out of your understanding. But it's in here today. Lord, here's what I think should happen or could happen. And here's what I'm asking you to do. But I'm going to end with this. God, surprise me this year. Surprise me this month. Surprise me this day. Do things even beyond what I'm asking you to do. Let's spend just 30 seconds praying along that line. Surprise me. Now, let me 
pray for you uh, today as, as we close. Just pray this prayer over you and myself. Father, I thank you for Ephesians 3, this prayer in the midst of Paul's imprisonment, uh, not only for himself, but for, for others. It's chock full with how he viewed you and, and the things that he valued that he wanted them to understand uh, and, and wanted these realities to be experienced through his prayer. Lord, I pray, make us double strong, strengthen us from within. Give us the inner resources to deal with the outward adversities. I pray, Lord, let us be pressurized. Let the, the Holy Spirit's power within push back against what we're facing. And Lord, we invite you to make your home in us. Uh, settle in. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Be a frequent invited guest. Do, redecorate. Do the things that you want to do in our hearts. And I just pray... Uh, above all that we've asked for today, I pray for a greater revelation of your love. May we be confident in it. May we walk in it. May it remove insecurities. May, may we be assured and confident in the love that God has for us. And I pray uh, that, Lord, we would come under your influence, that we would experience the fullness of all that you are. God, bring those realities to every situation. And, and no matter how dark, how hard, may we come under the influence of God and we submit and surrender because we know you love us and now we come under your fullness and Lord here it is surprise us surprise us even today by what you do in that conversation in this circumstance this scenario um, I pray surprise us by what you do do above all that we can ask think or imagine this month this year do things that we didn't even ask you for because we didn't even have, fathom it and we couldn't even understand it but you knew so Lord calm surprise us Oh, Lord, Lord, I bless you, and I thank you for this. In Jesus' name.